Today on North O2, we are going to be talking about hyenodonts. Hyenodonts were a group of carnivorous beasts that once dominated our planet. One member was even bigger than a polar bear. Before we talk about how brutal these creatures were, let's talk about their evolution first. Hyenodonts evolved from creodonts. Creodonts are a group of carnivorous mammals that evolved after the extinction of the dinosaurs. They were once thought to be the ancestors of modern carnivorous species like cats, dogs, and hyenas, but now we know that they are not related. During the late Paleocene about 58 million years ago, the hyenodonts diverged. Keep in mind, this is only 7 million years after Tyrannosaurus rex dominated our planet. Geologically, that's a minuscule amount of time. Hyenodonts would go on to diversify for millions of years. They were very dominant predators. And despite the name hyenodont, they are not actually related to hyenas. The body plan of these animals was very odd. Their head superficially appeared to be too large for the body. It was so large that in some species it had to be held up by tall neural spines. But you may ask why such a large skull? The answer is of course to kill prey with ease. They did not have forelimbs like modern day pursuit predators so instead of grappling with their prey they would just bite them. The skull itself had muscle attachment points for very large muscles. Their jaws were so powerful that they could crush skulls. Puncture holes are found in some fossilized prey animals and copulites were found to contain bits of skull in them. And yes, I am talking about poop. They also had specially adapted teeth that would allow them to eat their prey efficiently. These teeth would rub against each other to produce a sharp cutting edge, and this feature would allow them to live longer than other carnivorous animals. Out of all of its senses, its smell was its most effective sense. It had a well-developed olfactory lobe, and this would allow it to detect prey and scavenge carcasses. A hunting strategy it is thought to have employed was waiting for an animal to drink water and then ambushing it. It was not a very good pursuit predator, but rather an ambush predator. A well-placed bite to the head would provide a quick death for any unlucky prey. Now that you have an idea of what these animals were, let's talk about different species. Hyenodonts were so dominant that in Miocene Asia and Africa, various species of hyenodon competed with each other and also held entirely different niches. Some of the most famous hyenodonts are in the hyenodon genus. One of the largest species in the genus was hyenodon gigas. It was four and a half feet at the shoulder and over 10 feet long. The weight is not known for certain, but a weight of 1100 pounds is reasonable for an animal of this size. Not all species were this big though. For example, Tritomodon was a gracile hyenodon. Most were about the size of a medium sized dog, but the extremes are more interesting. Simba Kuba Kuto Africa is a recently discovered hyenodont. It was discovered in East Africa while researchers were looking for ancient ape remains. As you can see by the size of the jaw, it was a monstrous beast. Just the lower jaw makes this lion skull look like a house cat. The discovery of this animal made researchers think it may be the largest terrestrial carnivore of all time. But since it was a hyenodont, the head is actually disproportionate to the body, so the first estimates were way larger than it turns out to be. Still, an estimated weight of 3,300 pounds was proposed, but I really doubt this claim. More likely, it was probably about 2,000 pounds, but I mean, who am I really to say? It could have been 3,300 pounds. We'll have to wait for more research to come out on this. Since it was so big, it was able to kill very large prey. Even animals the size of small elephants were not safe from this beast. There are countless other species of hyenodonts. They roamed our planet for millions of years, and some were even larger than polar bears. Though they were very successful, they went extinct in the late Miocene. The reason for their extinction was climate change. Earth was getting drier and forests were changing into grasslands. This caused many ambush predators like hyenodonts to go extinct. The group as a whole was replaced by smarter and more advanced groups. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this look into the brutish beasts of our prehistory. I'm working on a lot of new projects for this channel and hopefully I'm going to be releasing something big soon, so stay tuned. This has been your host North02 and I'll see you on the next one. See ya.